Jamila has just had her interview, accepted a position at her dream school in Asia, and now she's got to get her documents in order and begin the pre-departure process. In order to legally work abroad, she first needs to apply for a working visa. This can seem like a daunting task at first, but with a little preparation, time management and organization, it can be a smooth and painless process. At the point of accepting her job offer, she did not need to have completed her TEFL or TESOL certificate, but once she had completed the course and she'd received her TEFL or TESOL certificate, she needed to start the process of legalizing her documents as soon as possible, because it can take more than a couple of weeks depending on how fast each stage is completed. Here's a quick guide on the most effective steps to smooth that process along that Jamila has benefited from. Step 1. Get all your documents together. Carefully review the list of required documents from the school where you will be working. These will differ from school to school, but broadly speaking, the three most important documents to collate will be 1. A minimum 120-hour TEFL or TESOL qualification certificate. 2. A criminal record check, not always required. 3. University degree, not always required. All documents must be legalized in the country in which they were issued. This means that all students worldwide who studied the TEFL Academy's TEFL course must get their certificate legalized in the UK. This can be done remotely using our partner www.apostille.org.uk. UK students may also use this service or choose to legalize all their documents using the same process explained in this video. Step 2 getting a document to prove you don't have a criminal record. You may need to apply to whatever organization deals with this document in your country. Where you apply depends on where you live. You may be able to apply online, although in some countries you must attend in person. You will probably have to pay for this service. Step 3. Get your documents certified, also known as notarized. When you have received your criminal record notification, Take a copy of it and your other documents and keep the copies with the originals. Then take all the documents to be certified or notarized. This means the copies are signed and stamped as copies of a genuine document. In some countries, you can only have your documents legalized by a notary public. Search Google for your nearest one. In other countries, a lawyer, bank, doctor or accountant can do this for you. Step 4. Have your documents legalized. You can now send off the certified copies of your documents to the relevant government department. They will attach a stamped official certificate called an apostille to each document and send them back to you. Your documents are now legalized. Step 5. Get your documents attested. Take all your legalized documents to the embassy for the country in which you wish to teach or consulate nearest to where you live. It may be an idea to phone the embassy or consulate in your country to inquire if the documents can be sent by post or whether you must present them in person. The process normally takes between three and four days. Once you've got the documents back, you can then send them to your employer. If you can't get to the embassy in person, there are many companies that can provide this service remotely. Search for embassy attestation in your local area. Remember, Employers will usually cover the cost of this entire process, so don't forget to ask them when applying for jobs. The TEFL Academy